Jordan actually still just the last guy after he got caught masturbating in a weekend dinner. <laughs> You guys are awesome. I love it. I, uh, I'm really happy to be here with you guys. Actually, um, uh, truth be told, I've been really missing my uh, family back home. And, uh, also, truth be told, when I stay back home, I'm going to get to the city. When I stay back home, I'm going to get to the city. But I can pretend it's really far away. Because when you go there, you can't go out somewhere else. see only two people on my car on the train and I couldn't hear anything but it was a woman who had I mean sorry it was a man who had cornered a woman and I, like I said I couldn't hear but he's doing this with like a really mean face and I'm pretty sure this is sign language for like I'm a crazy person and right now that's your problem <laughs> I'm looking at them, they both look at me at the same time. Uh, crazy guy he decides to just pretend he wasn't doing anything, and the woman has a half a second of relief on her face, and then she's like, he's way too soft to help me in this situation. <laughs> and then I gave her a look of agreement. And <laughs> so the crazy guy sits down, I don't want to like veer away, because like, then they'll know that I know something was up. I don't want to trigger anything. If he's willing to pretend he's not crazy, I'm willing to pretend he's not crazy also. I sit right next to him, I take out a book, and I start reading. And uh, I pretend to read, and just watch the situation. And uh, eventually the craziness just can't, he can't hold it in. He bubbles over like a fucking crazy cauldron. And he goes, <laughs> I watch him hold it in though, I commend him for that. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he decides he's gonna try to get with him. He's like, <laughs> you ever talk to some females? And they don't be saying nothing back. First thought, fucking no! I've never put myself in that situation before. It's public transportation. And uh, I thought about it, I was like, you know what, I shouldn't agree with him, because then he'll take it as a cue to murder her. But I shouldn't disagree with him, because then he'll take it as a cue to murder me. And even if I agree with him, she was Puerto Rican, she probably could have taken me. Um, so I, uh, I decided to, maybe I could just like, stall until my stock gets up. And I, I, I ask him in my most soothing voice, like, well, maybe it's uh, understandable that in this kind of situation a woman would be kind of defensive because you never know who you're going to meet on the train. <laughs> he opens up completely, he goes, I don't get along with my brother's wife. <laughs> That 
That's my call of complaint. <laughs> so we talk it through, uh, and the woman, while we're talking, the woman stop comes up, and she goes to get off, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm sorry, uh, you probably get this all the time. It's, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? That's like, and she ignores me, and I'm like, you ever try to talk to some females? <laughs> This guy still wants to talk though. He's looking at my book and he goes, this is the wildest thing I've ever heard. He goes, you fuck with Harry Potter? <laughs> the book I was reading was not Harry Potter. <laughs> but I'm still just all like, yeah, it's my shit or whatever. He goes, yeah, me neither. <laughs> so great. Um, so, so then uh, I'm like, you know what? I gotta get out of here. And he's like, what, we can't talk anymore? And I was like, no, oh, fucking. And I ran off the train as fast as I could. <laughs>